much. It was a video that nauseated a lot of us. Middle school boys brutally taunting an elderly monitor on their school bus. And now, some of the bullies are saying, I'm sorry. NBC's Craig Melvin is in Rochester, New York with more on this. Craig, good morning to you. Matt, good morning to you as well. It has been a whirlwind of a week for Karen Klein and those three boys who harassed her on bus 784 behind me. Klein has gone from victim to spokesperson for civility, and those boys have gone from disgustingly mean to, as you mentioned, saying, I'm sorry. But you don't have a family because they don't kill themselves because they didn't want to be mean to you. When they were done taunting, cursing, and threatening Karen Klein, one of the seventh graders involved posted the videos online. Am I staying you in the stomach and my knife will go through you as butter? More than two million have watched the 13-year-olds from Greece, New York, bully their 68-year-old bus monitor. Now, three of the four boys and their parents are apologizing. In statements released through police, one student writes, I am so sorry for the way I treated you. When I saw the video, I was disgusted and could not believe I did that. I will never treat anyone this way again. A parent says, quote, I would like it if he could do some work for you or help you in some way. I am embarrassed, angry, and sad about the awful way he treated you. The same video that's triggered so much anger and disbelief has sparked nearly as much compassion and generosity. I saw what those kids did to you, and it nearly had me in tears. I want you to know how many people are here for you. Letters, calls, and flowers have poured in. Some of the support is emotional, but much of it has been financial. Never have we seen a campaign raise, raise this much money uh, this quickly in less than 36 hours. More than 21,000 strangers have logged onto Indiegogo, a website devoted to raising money for various causes. They've donated more than $440,000 to send Klein on a dream vacation and help her retire. Oh, I mean, I get chills, you know. At a Thursday news conference, school officials said they were still investigating, and while they wouldn't give specifics, promised strong disciplinary action. Police said the bullies are now being harassed. Their families have been threatened, their brothers and sisters have been threatened. Police said criminal charges were unlikely, partly because Klein doesn't want to prosecute. She wants a private meeting instead. I'd like to find out they really realize how serious this is, you know, and why. I want to know why they had to do that. You know, why they don't respect elders. Now, Karen Klein says that she also doesn't want to see those boys expelled or suspended, but would like to see them banned from riding the school bus for at least a year and also not allowed to participate in team sports.